Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Uh, do you know that our testicles are full of plastic? <laughs> you speak for yourself, my man. <laughs> my, my testicles are full of liquid gold, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid gold. Next generation of the world leaders in there. Yeah, I'm fucking right. I got a bisectomy when I was 30. <laughs> wow, personal story. <laughs> I do. Uh, so they they it, uh, like a scientific uh, thing came out where they tested uh, men's testicles that I mean they were dead, right? Yes. And then dogs that were freshly dead. Like, I mean, yeah. dead meant like testicles, like they've been dead for a while. So it was a relatively small sample size. One state that it was only like, I think like 47. Yeah, it was something. It was like, it was like, I don't know, like 30 guys and 30 dogs or something like that. Regardless, <laughs> truth, not facts here, but we have the general, the general, regardless, 100% of all. So like, if even if you pull 80, mm -hmm. 40. And a hundred percent have it. Like you can assume that it's probably a little more rampant. Found uh, what they did was they dissolved the t the the living tissue to examine what was left. Ew. And that's how they found the plastics. Okay. Um. That's kind so, of effed up. So uh, and they they said there was more in the human than the dog. Or, yeah, more in the humans than the dogs. But humans are also ingesting way more microplastics. Yeah, obviously. And I guess my thing was. <laughs> okay, What's a couple thing? things. You, you One, like, you like plastics? I've heard, I've heard about microplastics, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess I don't understand how even if you're consuming them in food and water, how they get in your balls? Like how it doesn't? Like how does it not just pass through your intestines and come out in your poo? How does it get into your balls? Well, I imagine if you intest some, or if you ingest something, or you breathe it in, um, it gets into your bloodstream. And then I would I would think is that since the microplastics are obviously a foreign body, they're not necessarily anything that a like a T cell or a white blood cell can okay. take care of, that it will probably just settle in your body in certain areas and just chill out there. And I I don't know. I don't know why the balls would be like the one place they would probably be carried. I think this is just a new study, but I think it's, it's probably like, in all of our organs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the thing. Now this is just directly linked to like uh linked to what they say is like fertility rates and the decline that Americans or that I should say mankind has been having over the planet. Yeah, I mean, besides the fact fertility. that people ain't having kids. But it's it like... It ain't the lack of trying. I mean, it, they just, mm, per, they're just not. I mean, there's a lot of less lack of trying anymore. Like what COVID kind of effed up kids for the next like five, 10 years, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, well, what I meant by that is like people are still fucking, but like they're, they're wearing <laughs> rubbers and stuff. They're trying to not have babies. Oh, more microplastics. Put a, put a rubber gym hat on you. Get micro. That's rubber. You get microplastics in your urethra. Jesus. <laughs> like, but I guess I didn't realize. Okay, and yeah. this is my pure ignorance, and I'll I'll vow I'll take it. It's I mean, fine. I'm I don't not, know much I'm about very it ignorant about some things. Yeah. Um, when I hear about microplastics, I guess I didn't even understand that. What it meant by that was that it's like infiltrating our organs. Like that when I hear like micro like oh don't heat up plastic things in the microwave or da 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 like yeah. that like you're ingesting it and it's becoming part of you yeah because your your body does not have a way to really expel it because of the the foreign nature of it yeah I whew, it's kind of it's it's weird because when you think of plastic you're obviously thinking about like a freaking piece of Tupperware. But what we're talking about is something that's small, so small that it's like the size of like a freaking a even smaller than a grain of sand. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just like it's, it's like the size of an electron, but there's thousands of them in your body, so it's going right. to have some effect on something. I mean, everybody wonders why everybody gets cancer because we probably have we have so we eat we eat so much foreign shit, we have so much additives to our foods, microplastics in our body, and you're like, oh, why why are your cells mutating into Body killing cells. Does, oh, I don't know. Does plastic biodegrade, Jonas? Are you familiar? It does, but it has a very high half life. That's why oh. it's like such a big deal about like single use plastic water bottles, and because mm. like it it does it does like it, it will biodegrade, but it's like some stupid. It's not as much as styrofoam. Yeah, but it's crazy. still up there. Like hmm. that's why they're saying like use refillable water bottles. Stop putting plastic into the ground, and like I mean, and then the plastic breaks down, gets into the water supply. I mean, it's a whole big and cycle then, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of things. Whether you're not, whether you're eating it or not, it's still coming into the ground. It's getting into mm. water. It's it's getting. I mean, 
I, yeah. I'm, I honestly, I feel like it's kind of already kind of too late. Oh yeah. At this point, unless we were to worldwide stop using plastics altogether, yeah. But I, the chance of that is like everything is and, like and every you know, business. I I, uh, I can't remember exactly what the story said. So I mean, again, truth not facts here. Um, they said that. You know, a lot of places have switched to those paper straws over plastic straws to help mm -hmm. for the same reason. But they found something with paper straws. Give me, well, go ahead. And I, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to find it. But. Now you're gonna tell me that paper straws are killing me, Jonas? Is nothing sacred anymore? Nothing. Now we gotta do metal straws. Nobody wants to do a metal straw. I have a metal straw. I hate it. I hate it with all of my heart, oh, God, Jonas. Yeah, they're bad. It's cold on my lips. It feels like like I'm like I'm. Giving fellatio to a robot. I don't know why you put me in this position. Put fellatio <laughs> in a robot? <laughs> why you can't put me in this position? Uh, it just said that they, yeah, paper straws contain more potentially toxic forever chemicals than plastic. Like, so some study, wow. I don't know. It hasn't been like, but they were doing studies to try to find. I mean, and, and I guess like, and that's the thing. Because, I mean, I'll tell you what, man. I hate a paper straw. You don't even get through your goddamn drink and that shit's all like soaking up. So like, <laughs> it's like, well, you got cardboard juice in my soda. Yeah. You're not you're even like, wrong. Ew. You're not even I'd rather wrong. just drink it out of the glass that somebody probably licked. I need like an edible straw. That'd be kind oh, of Oh, like a you ever used a Twizzler as a straw? I you, have not. No. If you, when I was I a kid, Twizzlers, you so. bite both ends off the Twizzler. So there's a little hole in there. You can that's use it as a straw. So that's what they should do. That's it. The whole world just turns into Twizzler straws. Twizzler stock through the roof. Jonas, uh, red Twizzler son or black licorice daughter? Which one? What does that even mean? Why do you question? put son and daughter? Just answer the question. Red licorice. I don't son like or black licorice. So red licorice. Son. I don't know what that means. <laughs> How am I gonna? How am I gonna give an answer when I don't know what? Red it means? licorice son or black licorice daughter? Which one? Well, red licorice son. And then when I said red licorice, you're like son. There was only one option. There was only one option. Like, All right, so red licorice son. Sure. All right. I don't know All what right. that means. Good, I mean, I agree with you. Because black licorice sucks. Yeah, I don't and know so why do the girls. son and daughter were on there. <laughs> yeah, this is a Twitter thing. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I'm trying life? to stay current, John. I'm sorry you're not you're not abreast all the memes. I am. All right. I mean, I like breast memes. You want to know the other one, John? <laughs> like, uh, we're Costco guys. Of course we. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course we work in a factory. <laughs> okay, you know we're that. soccer moms. You know that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, that one. Oh, I uh, hate that one. You don't like the Costco. Oh no, one. just the. They're like, we're sand volleyball players. We, of course, our feet are burnt. Oh yeah. You know, like, yeah I'm just yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's so. That's the most cringe ass <laughs> videos. Yeah, that was, yeah. that meme cringe trend is cringy meme trends. Yeah. Well, we're definitely turning on the Costco guys. Uh, we're podcasters. Of course, we sit here and talk. <laughs> Let's do our own. We're podcasters. Of course I own four microphones. <laughs> We're crazy town guys. Of course we get 10 views a video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it took a long it took a long time to get those 10 views per video. Yeah, yo, yo, we work for every single one of those hey. views. Look, I'm concerned about the amount of microplastics in my balls and in all of my organs, all right? I, I don't I'm want my balls full of plastic. I'm concerned about the future because I wonder what the, the long-term effects. It's very interesting how humans will introduce something to the public and the masses and then find out five years later that oh wait this is this is killing you and then we'll yeah. and then we'll start passing regulation what? we move too slowly for the amount of innovation that's oh, going yeah. on plastics well, has been around for hundreds of years and we are now finding out that it could very well be an ELE an, an uh, extinction level event for plastics? us plastics yeah because yeah. when you build when you get enough of this built up over years in generations through bloodlines it's going to have some drastic or dramatic effect it has to it's already it's already affecting fertility so if it affects fertility to the point where it reaches zero then we die so it, it's not it's not a nothing problem it's super funny on the on the tin there's plastic in your balls you can go around slap your husband in the balls and say ah, i slapped you in your tupperware it's you know it's, 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 ha, ha. <laughs> is that what people do <laughs> yeah but like dead ass for like the history of humanity we have to do something about this and stopping plastic is probably not it because there's too much money in it there's yeah it like so if i don't I, know if i don't I know what the answer get is somebody pregnant are they gonna give birth to a to a uh, wacky wavy inflatable snowman are you you know what jones you speaking though like what if truth. one of the plastics gets in there Hallelujah. it's like it's like a little sperm with like a plastic burger king crown on his head and then he gets in there and then next thing you know like okay. i'm having 
Uh, yeah, I have like a little like baby Jesus from a manger scene popping out. A nativity scene? Yeah. Nativity scene. That's Got it. you. I'm, yeah. I'm here with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with you. you. Tell I'm a very religious guy. <laughs> <laughs> I will help so, you. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't want. I want a real baby. I don't want a plastic baby. I don't want a plastic baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. What if all of a sudden we're having plastic babies? You're not even wrong, Jonas. Do you want a plastic baby? Stop using plastic. And it's yeah. it's crazy. I eat out of plastic. Like drink out of glass mason jars. That's it. Eat and drink out of mason jars only. Oh, micro glass in your tube ties. That's tube. the next thing. That's the next thing. And you're, I was going to say your fallopian tubes. Oh, I, okay, I got you. Yeah. But I, all I can think of is not having babies because I'm a millennial. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, coffee. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. BBL Drizzy. TNT. We're out. <laughs>